Good morning from YN. Let's have a look. No complaints. <laughs> Let's see that view. Got a big day planned today. I'm gonna go look at a few apartments that possibly staying here longer term. But first, shower, brekkie, and the beach. Let's go. Okay, shower done. Let's go get a coffee. Have a look at the beach. It's our pool. There's a Hilton right there. And the beach. Right beside the Hilton. So what do you do first thing in the morning on your first day in YN at the PP Villa Hotel? <laughs> you get some brekkie and you go to the beach, of course. Let's have a quick look at the beach. That's a good place to eat right there as well, Syrian Hotel. But right here, right next door, is the Cafe Amazon. How perfect is that? 20 cup. So you can get an espresso here from 40 baht. Buck 20 for an espresso, not bad. Hawk, house of croissants. Oh, it's popular. <laughs> wow. Poached eggs and bacon on baguette, 160. Baguette ham and cheese, 130. That's not bad, really. Train station just up there, my hotel on the left, Cafe Amazon and Hawk Bakery or Croissant or whatever they call it. And this is the way to the beach. And Laundry service, four hours complete. Another reason why I can never move back home to the West. <laughs> Grand Old Centara. We'll pop in here on another visit, I think. And here is lovely Wahin Beach. A few people out enjoying. It's like low tide. Ponies, been part of uh, Wahin tradition for years. Ponies on the beach. Lovely. By the way, the sand check. Some talcum powder. <laughs> Wahin is called Head Rock, by the way. You can see why. All these rocks at this end of the beach. There's nothing but sand for about four kilometers down to Kaltakia, and then more sand after that, as we'll see. This is STL, no fobbing around. <laughs> we'll see every beach around here upcoming. So stay tuned for that. Right, let's go look at some condos. I'm interested in monthly rent, possibly a place to relocate from Bangkok. We'll see. So that was Wayan Beach. <laughs> smoothie for a dollar, 35 baht, fresh fruit smoothie. How much is uh, beer at the beach? There you go, 50 baht. 
The price for a beer at the beach, not bad. Breakfast on the Barbie. Probably the best price I've seen. Swati cup. My pain cup. Here's a bike you can ride on the beach with. <laughs> Oscar. Yeah, and back to my hotel. <laughs> Wang Pen Villa. Peepee Villa, actually. Okay, apartment search update. Since I'm looking for 30 days or less, the most obvious start for most would be Airbnb. Seems to be quite a good selection. Okay. Let's narrow that down to say 15,000 a month, which would be the limit that I'm looking at paying. Now we've got 27. <laughs> that will be where I would start looking from those 27. Okay, so now I'm on Facebook Marketplace. Ooh, La Casita, 13,000, I wanna look at that. Some of these will be long-term rental only though. Let's see what the translation is, it's handy. New condominium, blah, 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 blah. For rent, six month contract, one year contract. Okay, I've made my appointments. So let's go do some viewing, shall we? Of course, I could continue to stay in this lovely room for around 900 baht a night, but that's gonna be 27,000 baht or the better part of $1,000 at the end of the month. So best to find an apartment, somewhere I can cook, somewhere near the beach with the gym, cheap and cheerful, save 10 to 15,000 baht, half that price. By the way, I have to give a shout out to this bed. <laughs> It's got a beautiful mattress and a topper on top of the topper. Fantastic. Like sleeping on a cloud. Love it. Anybody who missed a tour of this cheap but cheerful room, please have a look back in the previous vid. Fantastic value. Great location. Lovely staff. And we're off. By the way, I rented this bike for 250 baht a day. But if I take it for a month, they said 3,000. So that's what I'll be using it around today. I'll have to look at some condos. PP Villa right there, or the old railway hotel Centaur Grand on your left. Up to you, as they say. And the main drag. See the Villa Market there? Same one they have in Bangkok. It's kind of spendy, like a Whole Foods, if you're looking in from the U.S. Well, not quite that fancy, but they have everything you'd want at a price. There's also a top supermarket and a. Go Power Shop over there, Electronics on my right. Market Village on my right. I have a Tesco Lotus in there. It's like a superstore, like a Walmart. Decent prices. And they've got a great electronics floor on the fourth floor, I guess, and a cinema. That girl's got a that girl's got a kite surfing kit on her back. Yep, she's turning into the kite school. The old condo chain, one of the first buildings in Wahin. And of course, nearby Soy 94 and Soy 80. We'll be looking at all those and more. Don't worry. There's the bus to Bangkok. That takes you to the Southwest bus terminal. The bus that goes to Akamai leaves from Blueport, right here. And there is the Blueport shopping mall. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this condo on the right, Ban Kung Khoi. I mean, you could rent something like this for like 45,000 baht a month, but I didn't come here to pay Vancouver prices in Thailand, as lovely as it is. So, the next best choice, Ban Kun Khoi. You see this main road there, but you come back here, it's dead quiet. 
Mind you, there is a train track behind here somewhere. Let's have a look at the pool first. Lovely pool. Gym. Cardio. Bench. Free weights. The basics, yeah? Yeah, it looks all right. Okay, the first room here. Oh, gonna turn the light on. And smart TV, the home nap. It's all right. Good sized fridge freezer. And everything you would need to cook, iron, even has a hair dryer there, I see. Space to hang your clothes outside to dry, I suppose. It's all right. Looks like they've got fiber internet. These aren't huge rooms, but this is just the kind of thing I'm looking for and perhaps somebody watching may be looking for. Just cheap, cheerful, five minutes to the beach. In this case, about five minutes to the shopping mall as well. Next up is a bit of a wild card. And the place where I used to go to the gym 20 years ago when I lived here, because it was the only gym in town. And here we are at the original OG condo, Hawaiian Sport Villa. A guy was advertising a place near, I think six grand a month, and it looked all remodeled, etc. but he's busy today. I just thought I would drop by and have a look anyways at the grounds. And back in the day, this is the place to come if you wanted to exercise. If you wanted to go to the gym, you wanted a pool, everyone came to the Sport Villa. There was even a club that went all night sometimes. <laughs> no, why? I never had a club that went all night. I better cut that out. <laughs> Still one of the nicer pools. Quick look at the menu. Eggs, bacon, ham, sausage, coffee, tea, bread, 130. Not bad. Hey, stir fried noodles topped with prawns, 80 baht. Club sandwich for some Western fare, 80 baht. Oh, all important beer price. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 45 baht for a Leo. That is cheap. Wow. Don't worry, this is an old school building. This is one of the better equipped gyms in any building. Look at this. If you're coming from outside, the fitness is. 80 bucks drop in, 99 for a month, 30 bucks a month. Cool, 50 to 80, I guess that's child out adult. So she's an oldie but a goodie. Right beside the Ducet D2 swish place. And walk to the beach, or five minutes to the Blueport shopping mall. There's uh, the Marrakesh again, beautiful place, right on the beach. But unfortunately, my budget doesn't stretch that far. There's a place, 550 a night. Not bad. Easy to find a hotel for 500, 550 a night. Definitely under 600 baht, you can find a hotel in this town. I know one with a pool for 600 baht. And here's Blueport Shopping Mall. I'll definitely show you the shopping mall later. It's actually a great little mall. I shouldn't say little, it's not really that little. Great medium-sized mall. There's one of the buses to Ekamai. That's a bigger size bus. Usually they've got the smaller size. Somewhere in between a minivan and a bus. Oh, train coming. It's getting hot now. You don't want to be taking third class in the heat if you're going more than say three hours. Try to get second class. Okay, up 102, there's all kinds of places that are cheap but cheerful. There it is, has a pool. I'm just, I'm just looking at a studio. It's all I need for a month, maybe longer. It says for rent from 9,500 baht a month, but I have it on good advice that you can get that for about 75 or less. I don't know how valid that price is, but there you go, starts at 1.99. Probably a studio, but not a bad price really. Okay, my style condo, Soy 102, 
It's only about five minutes drive to Blueport Shopping Mall. Cardio weights, presses. Hmm, not bad. Small, but has everything you need. A separate shower too, not all in one, that's good. Right, so that was My Style 102. Nice little place actually, isn't it? You can see on 102, there's endless little places to eat. Yum bar. Nice little bars here. Look at this place. 3,500 to 4,500. 4, Includes Wi-Fi. Key card entry. Looks all right, doesn't it? There's the digits if you're interested. I can't stop at every place I encounter, but uh, <laughs> you get the idea. Also, there's endless townhomes for rent. They're usually, you know, 10 and under, 12 for a real nice one. El Toro Local, live bands, there you go. Band sounding tight. Captain America over there. This might be worth dropping into. Have a look at this one when I do my uh, nightlife bit upcoming. <laughs> right, can't dilly dally, got, got to find a place to live first. See, this is, this is beautiful graffiti. Don't just tag your name, do some art. <laughs> There's another housing estate, they're all over the place. And generally, if you want a house, another good way to do it is just do what I'm doing. Get on a bike and ride around and look for signs. You'll see them everywhere. Not a bump, but a hump. Well, that'll be nice for a change. <laughs> Lady getting some water there. Hello, dear. Hello. Hello. What do you got? Cute little neighborhood here. I like it. Hey, what's this? Ban Nam Poon. Let's have a look. First one month, how much? And then if I stay six months? Shake One year? Four thousand baht. Four thousand? Canada. Canada. Yeah. Oh, very nice Canada, I know. It's okay, yeah. Uh, my son me go to America many times. Really? Yeah. Wow. He's a scholarship in, in America. He pick up university. Oh, fantastic. He, he team Thailand, international team. Beautiful, cool. Very peaceful here. Ooh. Oh. So I? Hey, not bad at all. <laughs> That's all right. Fridge, yeah, do yen. And the Hong Nam. Brand new tiles, perfectly clean. Rain shower. And he's saying, yes, we've got a split Eric on. There you go, you've got a smart TV. It's got an HDMI plug, so you put your fire stick in it, and away you go. Little balcony. <laughs> the view out this side isn't, isn't much to write home about, but you can hang your clothes up there. Home job. 
There you go. 4,000 for long term, 6,000 for short term. Right across from, right across from the football pitch, or soccer field as they say in North America. Okay, I gotta stop doing all these side trips. I'll never get where I'm going, but that's sort of the DNA of this channel. Side trip life. Okay, I guess if there is a real downside to that place, it would be the fact that the, the train passes right beside it. But the same can be said for many of the condominiums along the track, so I imagine after a few sleeps, you get used to it. Okay, we're on our way to the Kautakia. And it's very chill. I just love the ambiance of, of Kautakia. These here are the bought buses. These are Wahin's transport buses. Well, some of them. These are the green ones that go from here into town. And I think it will cost you 15 baht, 20 baht? I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen. But this is the junction anyways. You come here and you can hop on one of these bought buses and get yourself into town, which will only take you, I don't know, 10 minutes, something like that. Supatra by the sea on the left and the veranda residence, Wahin. I did a video about this place when it was first opened. Look back at my previous vid for a tour of one of the condos when it first opened. I absolutely love this end of the beach. Digua, as they say, the best. There's Monkey Mountain, Kautakia, Chopstick Mountain, affectionately known as Monkey Mountain. And the best part of Wahian Beach, right here. And maybe you can see why I like this end of the beach. Just love it. Good eats and view up here as well. Perfect spot for lunch. There you go, got a table waiting for you. Here are 60 baht. The cowpad guy for 60 baht, two bucks. Throwing some shrimp and crab, etc. 80 baht. Perfect. There you go, big Buddha. Kautakia band. Now we're gonna go look at a condo down this end. No, not that one. It's above my pay scale. <laughs> but one not too far away. Okay. Coming into the real Takiyab area here. Nice ride there. I like the rims. This here is just a super, super chill hood. Despite all the condos here. You walk towards the beach, you know you're still in a fishing village. And right opposite the Lucky Smile and the Family Mart, Ban Peng Pong. I can never say that right. I'm hearing what sounds like Russian language, I think. I'm not sure. And there's Kautakia, Monkey Mountain, where we were just at. You can see the distance, not far. And upstairs we have, is there free weights? Yes. Look, like there's two buildings, building A, building B. Let's have a look. Chill lobbies. There you go. 12,000 a month, yep. Let's have a look. Hmm, not bad. 
Cozy. Kitchenette. Nicely decorated. Kind of like the color scheme as well. It has, uh, includes Wi Fi. And apparently, it's fast. Let's have a look outside. Not much of a view, but a lovely outlook. Oh, there's a pool right there. That's kind of nice. Here's the view from the other end. Hi there. And the kitchen. Nice big size fridge and freezer, which I like because I do love to cook. Speaking of cooking, you've got everything you need. You've got a hot plate there. Kettle, toaster, frying pan, a place to wash up, dishes. Oops. Cutlery. Nice little balcony, you've got your clothes. And the hong nap. And I have to say this entire place is pristine clean. Right. Not bad. Wake up. Let's just take a quick look at the beach down here for you. This is where the, the old ferry to Patia used to dock back in the day. COVID put paid to that, unfortunately. Hopefully it'll come back or something like it. You see there's all kinds of eateries down here. This doesn't have the lovely white sand of Wahin Beach, but this is quite nice, isn't it? Another one of the charming places they have here, the Pineapple Surf Club. Cool place. What do you got? Right, I think we're gonna call it a bit. So I know which one I'm gonna choose, but which one would you choose? Leave a comment below. Let's find out which one I decided on, and a whole lot more coming up from YN. See you in the next one. Bye for now. But now you know there's just so many bars in Moyen. How can they possibly fill them all?